Hi, my name is John Grohl, and I'm uh, here in Turkey, in Istanbul. I'm an entrepreneur uh, from San Francisco, um, a high-tech software entrepreneur, and I'm here uh, looking at uh, Turkish startups as part of the Global Entrepreneurship Program uh, delegation to Turkey. Mm -hmm. And uh, your background is in technology and... Uh, That's right, I'm a programmer, entrepreneur. Uh, I founded three companies, and. Uh, and I've been in Silicon Valley for about three years now. Before that, I was a video game producer. And, and also, you are the youngest. I investor. am the youngest delegate. Yes, that's right. Okay. In this group. And uh, is this your first time in the emerging markets? Uh, not my first time in emerging markets, but my first time in Turkey uh, okay. and in the Middle East. Uh, mostly. And what type of uh, startup companies are you looking for? Um, I'm I'm actually mostly here in a mentoring and advisory capacity, so I'm not here uh, uh, from an investing perspective. Okay. But uh, my primary experience is with uh, with web and online startups. But um, here we're looking, we're seeing a lot of, of companies that have a significant offline component or are entirely, uh, you know, technology uh, applied to to problems in the real world rather than than purely software technology. Okay, and. Uh, uh are you aware of the, the challenges in emerging markets? Because uh, starting a company in an emerging market and in an advanced market uh, quite different. Right. I mean, in, in America, we kind of take it for granted how easy it is to incorporate, uh, raise money, uh, patent your ideas, and bring them to market. Uh, it certainly seems like there are some challenges in, in these markets, but I think Turkey is maybe more fortunate than some others. Uh, and is already making improvements uh, in policy areas and in, in, in funding areas. There's, there's the beginning of a startup community, I can see. There's some, some Turkish investors and angels who are here. Uh, so just the fact that there are Turkish angels is already a good sign that there, that there is, you know, there is some, a community beginning. In other signs, that makes you think that, uh, that uh, Turkey is more fortunate? I think Turkey might be a little bit more fortunate uh, versus some other emerging markets where they don't necessarily have the resources. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Turkey, from from everything I've seen, seems to be, uh, you know, quite far ahead of some of the other delegations. Some of the some of the other delegates who have been to uh, Indonesia and Egypt and some of the other countries that they've seen before mm -hmm. uh, have been saying that that Turkey seems to be light years ahead as far as um, you know. The sophistication of the entrepreneur, but also the resources available uh, that are starting to become available for them to, to bring their, their products. Uh, you just uh, saw some of the presentations, some of the, some of the yeah. pitches, and uh, if you compare the, the local entrepreneurs here and uh, the entrepreneurs, for example, in the U.S. or in emerging markets, right. what would be your comments? So uh, I think, as far as the quality, I'm very impressed with the quality of the, of the entrepreneurs, their ability to present, especially. The presenting when English is not their first language, I was very impressed. I could not give, I could not give a presentation in Turkish, uh, so that that was very impressive. But the quality of the of the products and the ideas, uh, I'm glad to see that it's not just copycats. Uh, in fact, none of the presentations I've seen so far are just Turkish copies. They're all new ideas, which is very encouraging. And I think the probably the biggest difference I've noticed is that, um, you know, the U.S. we have. We have what we call, you know, U.S. We have like first world problems. So there, are a lot of problems have been solved already, and so a lot of the startups that you see are are software startups, or they're they're around entertainment or shopping or something like that. Whereas here, I think in the emerging markets, there are they're dealing with a lot of other more real problems, more fundamental problems with with uh, with this, that affect you know people in their regular lives. So I think a lot of the startups that we're seeing. You know, are to do with uh, improving quality of life, mm -hmm. which is which is uh, which is pretty exciting. It's nice to see not just uh, online, you know, websites. Okay, if you look at the investment trends in emerging markets, um, mostly copycat startups uh, or projects are, in, I mean, uh, uh, find the investments easily, yeah. and uh, we cannot really see investments in the innovative ideas. Uh, of course, I mean, people, maybe investors think, see the risk behind. Right, that might be the case. Yeah, I mean, I think a copycat idea is easier to understand because it's lower risk, um, but I think it's less exciting overall. Um, I'm hoping that maybe this delegation will change that. Uh, if there have not been a lot of funding for new ideas in the past and more towards copycats, I think it's But do you have any projections? Do you think how long will it take to also 
seeing these investments in the innovative ideas in emerging markets? Like I think it depends on how quickly they can bring their ideas to market. So some of the companies we've seen are going to have significant challenge just to deploy their product in the field. In the, in, you know, in, for example, we saw a, a sewage company that is doing water treatment, um, and so it may take quite a few years before they have any real traction even inside Turkey just because it takes time to deploy the systems more than it takes to launch a website for example. I think you know that's the other thing is that a lot of these more ambitious uh, uh, technologies you know a lot from an investor's perspective you know they are looking about how quickly can they bring to market and exit their investment um, and a lot of the new ideas I think maybe just take more time and more capital than they're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, how, how about yourself? I mean, uh, do you, have you exited your company yet? I, I've, I've had some small success in the past, mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, a different kind of business from what we've been seeing. I mean, I'm purely software, usually, uh, you know, apps and, uh, and website stuff, um, whereas you know, here we're seeing uh, a kind of a different variety of startups. So we will see to. you more in uh, this investment uh, domain, or more in, will a, continue? Uh, in, uh, in mentoring actually. Mentoring. So here, I'm really was asked to be here because I, of all the delegates, I'm probably the the person who has the most um, recent experience founding companies and then building products. I'm mm. probably the only programmer in the group. Uh, and so I'm evaluating the, the companies from a product and technical perspective as much as from a business okay. perspective. Okay. Thank you very much.